One eJourney May Kite Count is now live streaming just chatting new crime gaming choice matters just chatting Forza H5 Persona 5 R Spider-Man Miles Morales Destiny 2. Live online under the game just chatting the uptime begin. Welcome to One Journey and Let's Make It Count. We're going to do some just chatting today and this is episode two and we're just going to talk about on the, on the focus topic area, that's where you'll see the main, the main story and on the right hand side, which is my right hand side, you'll see the detailed information. Just showing you um, how the chart will look as we bring current events, news stories, or the pleasure of it. So welcome to One Journey. We say let's make it count. Why? Because we choose life. Life has consequences. Our choices, our actions, they all have consequences. Now, I love true crime stories, but we don't have any for you today, but we will. It's coming. But we want to celebrate some people today, and we're going to share with you. In the African-American community, you can pull up the news every day. There's a story about our arrest. People get jealous because they're like, hey, yo, the Ukraines are in jail. They're getting arrested, but they're not on the news. Hey, yo, the Germans got arrested and busted again. They're not on the news. But you know where you can find them? There's a channel on YouTube, and it's called The Mob Reporter. He has every nationality and crime there. And we're going to bring some of his CC comments to share with you. But today, we're not doing crime. Today, we're talking about some accolades that people have achieved in their life. Not everyone is out killing, shooting, robbing, stealing, sleeping, or the evil word, lazy. Come on, stop it, stop it. Okay, so on the left-hand side, you're going to see the focus point. Welcome. And on the right-hand side, you'll see the detail. Thank you all for emailing me your um, comments on uh, when I did episode one, some of the things that I had to change. I hope that you guys can see it. So I did do a little pilot test with friends, and they told me that I have to make the font larger. Okay, because when they're on the cell phone, it's, they really can't see it. When they're on their tablet, they're struggling. So I'm going to work on that. Okay, work in progress. Here is our report. Let's get into it. Okay, um, I'm going to start it, and it's maybe a little delayed. So what I will do is wait to see it. Okay, not only that, I did set commercial. Now you can see it. I did set a commercial. So um, someone on YouTube showed me how to set up commercial. This way I can see when the commercials are coming and I won't be still talking. You'll be, I'll be able to pause and wait for the commercials to be over. So that's a wonderful thing. Welcome to our Just Chat. And I'm so excited about this because I've really been wanting to do this. It's actually scheduled for Fridays. But um, in the pilot program, what I'm going to do is just roll it out slowly. Okay? I haven't told Instagram. I haven't told this one that one I'm just trying to flow okay so here you go now uh, welcome to one journey we say let's make it count why because we choose life life has consequences our choices our actions they all have consequences and we explore consequences through crime gaming choice matter game detective games and also motorsports now we're going to also explore tr crime through current events Mm -hmm. current events. So that means we might be going to the Smithsonian, we might be going to Britannica, and we might be going to the New York Times, okay? Or we may go further than that. We may do a book review. So um, book, book reviews are fun. Don't be, don't be acting like that. Mm -mm. Book reviews are fun. Books equal money. Don't I tell you that? Preparation meets opportunity. Come on, haven't we talked about that? Yes. My blue hair... I'm not going to change my hair for Just Chatting. I was speaking to a, um, I saw a Just Chatting uh, partner. Actually, my, uh, my, our partner, his name is SB underscore underscore 1987. And if you want to see him absolutely right now at 5 a.m., he is streaming on Kick or he's streaming on Twitch or Trovo or wherever streaming happens. He might be on YouTube. Go to his channel on Twitch and he'll let you know where he'll, he'll be premiering. Um, and enjoy him. He's a comedian. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Now, this young lady, her name is Jessica Hahn.
and she is a barrister in um, England. Not just a barrister. She's the black woman who provides hope for the visually impaired as the UK's first blind lawyer. Okay? Blurp. She's going to serve Welcome those lawyers. Welcome to One Journey, Make It Count. Hi, Blurp. Okay, the first blind, um, representing blind individuals. Okay, man, this flesh, it gets in trouble with everybody. This flesh, these eyes, these jealous eyes, they get in trouble with everyone. These ears, we're constantly in trouble with everyone. Hey, I want to make sure that you can hear me because the last stream they said they couldn't hear me. Hold on. Uh, okay, you can hear me. Very good. I was just looking at my alternate channel. Make sure you can hear me. Okay, so here we go. Um, so here's her name, um, Jessica. And she says, it was hard. And I often thought of giving up. But my supportive family gave me courage, strength. She continued. She's 23 years old. Okay, 23 years old, studied in London for five years, where she attended the University of Law, London, Bloomsbury. She began an accelerated degree in September 2017 and started her master's two years later with a professional training course close at hand. Congratulations to you, darling. Congratulations. Congratulations once again, Miss Jessica Inaba, 23 years old and fabulous. Okay. With a wonderful salary. Okay, so then, oh, let me just see if it switched. It did switch. Yay! It switched. Okay, great. So here we are. Last week, it didn't switch. So here we are, and we're, we have Antonio Brown. Now, you know he has lots of stories to share with us, right? Okay. Antonio Brown retires from NFL and purchases his ownership stake. Okay. Black owner, all right, in the Arena League of the Albany Empire. Antonio Brown celebrates his retirement from NFL by purchasing an ownership. We always talk about all these um, non-white athletes and white athletes, right, do f phenomenal job, but they don't own anything. They've got two, three years to give us, and then they're gone. They got five years to give us, then they're gone. Some have 10 years to give us, and then they're gone. And sometimes they're injured. Okay? So NFL, by purchasing an ownership stake in a football team, making his father the vice president. Congratulations, sir. Okay? Touchdown Eddie Brown is his father, the vice president of the team. He played from 1949 to 2001. Thank you, sir. Um, so the Arena League's Albany Empire now has a new owner that looks like me. Isn't that cool? All right, very good then. Um, he may be chocolate like me, but da, 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 um, he has um, other things to do. Yay, look at me switching it correctly. Yay, great. Okay, the next person we want to talk to is the lovely, the lovely shadow, the lovely, lovely. Mrs. Daniels, okay, a construction and engineering company, okay? Her family owns this. And she is fifth generation. Now, my family is only, um, my family's only first generation college graduate. My mom came, and I came with my mom, and then, um, then I graduated, okay? And all of us that came together, all the kids finished college. Some went in as, um, into the services as well. Okay, and completed. Now their children are finishing high school, college, and so forth. But we also have our own business. And we have, you do this, you do that, I do this. You know, Jamaicans and um, immigrants, they got to mix it all up. Okay, everybody's in the house, everybody's in the van. Great, buy a great big house, everybody lives there. Okay, um, that's just how it goes. Everybody chips in to buy that land. Okay, great. Fifth generation business and family. And they said $150 billion. That's the construction industry. The cosmetics, I got one coming for you too. So $150 billion. Um, that's the construction industry. That She said that when they started, it was just not enough money. Sometimes when you start something, you don't have enough. You know, when I started um, doing YouTube, I didn't have enough. You know what I mean? But I started. Okay, and then I discovered gaming, and oh, I like this. It's so interactive. It's so interactive. 
And I liked it. I did. Did the computer like me? Absolutely not. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. First time in my life I touch one of these things. Yeah, I always bought it for my, my son. No big deal, right? Yeah. But I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything with it. You know, you buy it, you give him the toy, and yay, right? But I never, we never sat down. Why? Because we were first-generation immigrants, and the objective was get it done. Okay, like in New York, if you're going to be a police for 14 years, 15 years, then you can retire, go over to the fire department, do another 14 years there, then retire, then go over to the um, the EMS over there, you know, just move around. You have three retirement checks, right? Okay, so um, that's how it is. So here you are. Um, they started, she said, when we started, we didn't have enough. And we had no mentorship. So many people say, well, I don't have anyone to show me. I don't have anyone to show me. I can't afford school. Well, we have people who are self-taught, and they learn how to do something that's called networking. When I came on this um, particular Twitch, I didn't know anything, but I met fabulous people that helped me along the way. Are they here now? No. But guess what? They gave me a little push. And that's good enough. And now they're on their way. So I don't see them anymore. But I thank them. And I'm don't forget where I come from. All right. So people, sometimes you'll find people that will help you on your journey. Okay. Now there is construction and engineering. Remember, that's the field we're talking about. Hello, Miss Cheryl Daniel. Five generations. Five generations. They didn't run and say, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. There's so many things to do in a company. We have something for you. Okay? Very good. No, um, me no mentorships, they said she re they received. Limited education that they had. And they had a family plan. Do you have a family plan? A family evacuation fa plan? A family medical plan? Do you have a family financial plan? Do you have a family home that everyone could go on vacation and don't have to worry about paying rent or about paying hmm, hotel fees? Come on, stop it. Stop it. Here we go. So they had a business plan in their family, a health plan, a financial plan, and they honor, honor before pride. Check the pride at the door. Together we thrive. Okay? If you're flipping out and blah, 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 blah if you're doing all that, how are you going to do it? How? How? You know, so if the teammate, if you can't be on the team, you need to get off the team. That's ain't nothing wrong with that. You don't want to be on the team, get off. You don't want to, you know, f you know, mix and mingle and do what you need to do. You know, it's okay. It's okay. So her family, they stuck together. One thing I like about the African-American family, you know, I'm all impressed with them anyway. So when you come over here, you cannot. You, you, you have to be impressed with them. What a good job. Bravo. Okay, so the next one, here we go, is, yep, yeah, the DJ is playing that song for me. Here we go. So here is Mike Burton. What about Mike? Mike Burton, out of his Texas home. You know what he's doing? He says, meet the black entrepreneur who made 500K, right, writing, selling rap songs on Fiverr. He does a little bit more than that. Hello. Mike Burton, if you want to get in touch with him, do so. But I, it's not free. Electro, elect, um, intellectual intelligence, it's not free. Okay, so Mike Burton, musician, African American from Texas, Fiverr earned eighty two thousand a year writing raps. In seven years he had made over five hundred thousand dollars. That's a pretty good income. Graduated from the University of Houston. I am acting on a conduit. He says, I am the in-between. I am the transition point, the connection point of of ideas. You come with an idea, even if you heard it in the bathtub, you heard it when you're on the plane, the train, the automobile, you sang it inside your phone, he can pull out the tune. Isn't that wonderful? So he, so shout out to him. Um, he says, I'm acting as a conduit for your ideas. And he told NBC. Shout out to Mike Burton, um, who creates songs, sounds, beats, rhythm. Shout out to him. All right, here is Julianne Richardson. Julianne Richardson. Oh, I forgot some antiques I was going to show you today. 
Oh, I messed up. Okay, so in every family, especially African-American families, they have priceless antique. The African-American Museum is asking, we need those antiques. We need them. We need them. You know, so will them over to us, right, so that we're able to keep them safe and to tell the story. Check out in your family where the antiques are buried, hidden, which family it's been passed on to, which storage house it's in. Ask the questions. So here we are, and we have Julianne Richardson. So shout out to her, Julianne Richardson, the founder and president of History Makers. Go look up that company, History Makers. Tell her if you got something. A nonprofit research and educational institution in keeping black history alive. Baby, she is a collector. If you have a belt, if you have a gun, if you have a star or a trophy, I forgot all the stuff I was going to show you. I got my great-grandmother's glasses. I've got all my mother's awards that she would get on her, check, or her chest in New York for services. Yeah, I got tons of awards myself, and I was going to show them to you today, but I totally forgot. So what do I do with those things? We have to make them an Ebenezer a memory. We have to erect it, put it up so it can be seen. Look how I overcame. Look how I got through this one. Look how dark that area was, but we got through. See, we're here now. Oh, uh oh, yeah, we got to the top. Yeah, that's what it's about. Um, remembering. And I don't know if you've ever met a collector, but boy, their eyes are different. Their highs, their their hands, the way they touch things, it's different. It's like they're feeling history and they've transported themselves there to history. Thank you, Juliana Richardson. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here is the next one. I don't want to lose it. I'm sorry, it just went low. It just went high. I'm I, I got it off of the thing. Is it back on now? Uh oh. Okay, so it's back on now. Thank goodness. Okay, great. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. The next person, we, these are two teenagers. I got them a little shadow gray because they are teenagers. They are under, you know, under age. And this is Cel Celsia and Nakia. And they did the Pythagorean theory. They solved it. 2,000 year old mathematical theory they solved with using trigonometry. It's never been done. Never been done. So everyone said, oh, that's because they come from, I'm sorry, I have my gloves on because I was playing Forza Horizon and that is why I have my gloves on. My deepest apology, I should have taken it off. Um, I just saw it. <laughs> so let me just move it off. So they're like, why does she have that, those gloves on? Because I just play, finished playing Forza and the G923 wheel is a little rough. <laughs> And the force feedback and all that going on. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So these are the Louisiana students. And we in SB underscore underscore 1987, that partner, he has some people from that state in his um, awesome people from that particular state. Very bright. Very smart. Okay, so shout out to these. Um, they're on their way to college, but they are minors, so we grade them out a little bit. Let's move along. Two students found the new proof of the Pythagorean theory. Math, math, music, it's a language. I'm, I'm almost convinced. I'm totally convinced. Actually, there, it's a language. One moment, please. <laughs> My throat is getting dry. My throat is getting dry. Give me one moment. Okay. Okay. I talk with my hands, so give me a moment. Okay. So, um, our beautiful, beautiful young ladies, we salute you. Okay. Justice. Kitanji. Okay. Um... Here is our justice. Um, she's born, uh, she was just elected this year onto the Biden administration. And um, she was born on the 14th of September, 1970. 1970. 
Ooh, you know, they were doing a lot of things in the 70s, and she made it through. Okay, Washington, D.C., Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. We have a black one, a man, um, Thomas Johnson, or I messed up his name, and um, we have her. So shout out to that. And um, she was the first black woman to serve on the Supreme Court. History. Have you made history in your family? Yeah, history in your family. So shout out to Justice Jackson. How you doing? Clarence Thompson, that's his name. He has a white wife. She has a white husband. Is that coincidental? Oh, I don't think so. You you know, at some point it was very difficult for African American women to mate, to find um, mates that were not, a lot of them were incarcerated. We have about 2.5 million incarcerated. And uh, we went through a really rough time, so they weren't home. So we had to love who loved us, you know, if we had to step out of the race. Because, we, you know, we want a husband. Nobody wants to lay alone, be in the house talking to walls, finish your education, empty hands, empty thighs. Nobody wants that, you know. So if, um, you know, someone found joy, and um, we thank you. We thank you to the Spanish that's loving us. We thank you to the Italians that's loving us. We thank you to the whites, the Jewish men, the non-white Jewish men. We thank you all. You know, we thank you all for um, seeing that we were gold, you know, and diamonds. And, um, yeah, so there she is. Beautiful Miss Jackson. How you doing? All right, the next one, let me go back. The next one we're going to do is the woman of power, okay? And last month, April, last month was the woman of power summit, okay? And we had, of course, um, Issa Rae stop by and so many others stop by. You can go on YouTube and watch the woman of summit and see what happens, the speeches, the encouragements, the stories, okay? of what to place. Congratulations to Issa Rae also on her wedding. Okay, March 2023, the Woman of Power Summit happened. It was glorious, okay? Glorious to watch. I did not go, but glorious to watch and glorious to review and encouraging. You can too. You can too, absolutely. Okay, here is the next story, and it's the Black Banks. What's going on with the Black Banks? And the next, um, on episode three, I'm going to bring you the list of the Black Banks. They are thriving. Why? Because we're learning to find them, put our money in. Yes, transfer our money. No, transfer my check to this bank account. I have the debit card, okay? And it, it will go in there. I mean, I can have a black bank and I still have a, a an international one that is Chase and then my black bank. You get what I mean? But you want to put your money there, okay? We need our we need our own so that we're not mingled or, you know, misrepresented, misrepresented, but we are thriving and others are crying. Okay, two black banks increasing. Um, the latest example um, came in late February when the Red Redemption Holding Company (RHC) makes the first time uh, make the mark the first time in U.S. history an existing non-black bank would become a black-owned minority depository institution via acquisition. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. We in it. Now what, you, now what you're going to say, oh, those black people, they can't handle money. Oh, those black people spend everything. Oh, those black people lay away everything. Oh, they don't got no money. You don't got no money. You don't know what we have. And I know you know we have money because you want us in our store, your stores. So don't say that. Okay? We come and we spend and we spend. We bought that boat. Okay, we bought, we buy the charters with our family and go on the charter, go fishing, especially the Jamaicans. They're going to take the, the charters, especially when snapper is out and crabs are out and other very, very expensive seafood is out. Stop it. Okay, that is the black bank. It is growing. It is thriving. But guess what? The but it's not just blacks that are there. Why? Because the math, the black mathematicians 
they're discovering that, wait a minute, if NASA is using the black mathematicians and the black mathematicians are excelling across the board, even the investments, I think it last in episode one, I did the, um, the ringing of the bell um, at NASDAQ and um, on Wall Street. But here they are, they're doing well, shout out to them. Yes, congratulations. William Michael Cunningham. Well, who's he? He is the voice, honey. He's the financial voice, okay? He is the financial voice. An operator in service. This comes from his website, actually. In oper- he oper- we operate in service to human life, all human life, okay? He helps institutions maximize social financial returns. Okay, so you have money. You need to figure out how to invest it. I'm not just talking about Michael. There's other people that I know in New York too. There's a New York, there's a Jamaican um, 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 f- investment company in New York that is awesome. They're at top of the line. Nobody talks about them. Know them. There is a Japanese one, a Chinese one, a Korean one, and an American one. There was one solid American one, and that family had closed it, but a new family opened, and they are. Awesome. I do not have that slide for you, and I deeply apologize. Okay, so um, here we are. He says, William, um, William Cunningham says activity in the black banking sector has risen dramatically. Okay? He says that uh, during COVID-19 struck three years ago, he says the growth may stem from an improved economic outlook in the black community with lower unemployment and more entrepreneurial activities. We can't come to work for $10 because it won't cover gasoline. It won't cover the utilities or the expenses in the home. So people are complaining, nobody's working, nobody's working, Americans are not working. I have to drive 34 miles one way. It won't cover it. You have to take two trains and two buses. Bus. Mm-mm. Won't cover it. Okay, so here we go. Now, um, this it's the black CEOs that America is employing black CEOs. Now, when I was growing up, there were only white CEO, CEOs. I had two internships, okay? One in mental health, and then the second one I had in business, okay? In, uh, in, in, in accounting, in two, two, two internships that I had growing up in New York. Now, when I was there, it was white CEOs and Jews. Now, guess who they're hiring to run the companies? Blacks. They started with Koreans and, and, and Chinese, and then they stopped. I won't tell you why, but I will, but not today. You can look it up. So now, large companies are hiring African Americans to run their companies, multi million, 500 thousand they're doing it okay fortune 500 companies that's who they're hiring the chocolate one and then some people are like well we know we can run our own but why are we making money for the other again hmm maybe we just want to prove something Women are still on the low end of the hiring um, game, about 17%. 17% out of 100. But the African-American men are going higher. But they tend to jump ship and take all their money to the white people. Because they, um, they, and they have, I have my new white brother-in-law, my new white uh, mother-in-law, and all their money go there to pay all their bills. And they're happy. So I, I go back to choices. People have a right to choose, Okay. Um, Five new black CEO appointments in the S&P 500 women of color. Okay, so um, here we go. So there you go. They're they're doing their thing. Yeah. Danielle, how you doing? This is Danielle Jones, the beautiful Danielle Jones. Now, Miss Jones is the new role with the company. Here we're talking about CEOs, right? Um, Former um, Power Hands CEO appointed head of Amazon Black Business Accredited Program. You know, when I'm shopping on Amazon, that's the first thing I look. I look for minority business. 
I look for American Koreans. I look for, because everything just can't come out of China. Everything, something, I look for Made in USA. So everything is not, you yeah, know, um, just arbitrarily type in something. I need a broom and you don't know where that broom came from. So um, she is uh, over black um, businesses that's on Amazon. A company has made a $150 million commitment to support the growth of black businesses and maximize the opportunity on selling in Amazon store. I don't know if you guys know it, but a lot of YouTubers have Amazon stores. And guess what? Twitch also have Amazon stores, okay? So when, and, and they'll pull up the products that they have or the things that they're using, yeah, they have Amazon stores. So she's going to make them more successful because with Amazon stores, you have to pay attention to trends and know when to drop the prices and know when to use the software. So you're on that software all day long, seeing things rise, drop, rise, add it to your thing, pull it, then move another one up all day long. Mm -hmm. Jones' new role with the company is com it com as complements her 16-year track record, 16-year track record of cross-functional experience developing fortunes, 100 and 500 companies. The girl's bad. Look at her. Look at her. The girl's bad. She reminds me, actually, of, um, I think her name is Southern Peach now. Um, hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to call her, her, call her by her proper name, and I'm ruining it. But that's what she reminds me of. Her responsibility with the company reflects a multitude of previous success that includes leading the company to launch in Amazon BBA and Champs Pembroke Pines and closing a multi-million dollar. One viewers, one thirty-one minutes and fifty-four I seconds. Hi, thank you. Yeah, so million dollar tendon offer and capital interjection from Vanguard Holdings. The girl's bad. The girl's bad. All by herself. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Bobby Peterson, an orthodontist, developed the big mouth toothbrush. Sold out. She did a pitch on um, the Shark Tank and... Of course, she was accepted. Now, this is going to be mass produced. It um, not just cleans, it's wide enough to clean the teeth on the side at the same time, in the front at the same time. And this is Dolly, Bobby Peterson's made an impact with her big mouth toothbrush and innovative designs. Look, she don't, she don't even have to have a dental office no more. Okay? She has skipped six figures. Shout out to Bobby and her family and her crew. Okay, so this is Bobby, Doc, Dr. Bobby. Put some respect on Mrs. On Dr. Peterson's name, One Journey. Okay, here you go. Okay, the Reform Alliance. Let's talk about the Reform Alliance founded by recording artist Meek Mills. Hello, Mr. Mills. Okay, Virginia State University is going to host the national leaders to discuss criminal justice reform. What you talking about? Criminal justice reform. That's right, we said it. The Justice Department sucks. CIA, FBI, they've all been infiltrated by white supremacy and hate groups. What do you want? They can't even control gun sales, okay? I remember when in Georgia, right, um, blacks were buying guns, buying guns, but we couldn't get the bullets. We had to go to the German gangs to get the bullet. We went to the Russian gangs. We got the bullets. If we tried to go local, we couldn't get the bullets. So we had to go get the bullets from somebody else. And then we decided, you know what? We're not going to practice at the, um, at the white um, uh, ranges. No. So we decided to fly, find the non-white ranges. Honey, those Philippines, the, you, the Korean r ranges, stop, you need to go to their go. And, of course, the black has wonderful ranges also, okay? So at, that's what happens in America. They shut you out. So we were shut out. We can buy the gun, but we couldn't get bullets. So now we have to go to the streets to find out where we can get the bullets. But the Russians had no problems. The Germans had no problems. The Italians had no problems. And we got what we needed. Next. Next. 
You thought you, you thought you were going to stop something? No. Okay. So this Reform Alliance um, that was founded by Meek Mills, you know, Meek Mills used to date. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that's old. So we're not going to bring it up because it's old. And, you know, they've both moved on with their own um, spouses. Um, Virginia State University hosts the national leader to discuss criminal justice reform. Virginia State University has patterned with top entertainment and business um leaders to bring attention to the importance of criminal justice reform. Uh, America loves drugs, okay? America is a junkie country, period. They like drugs, all kinds of drugs. Pills, whatever, they fall and drop and die in Canada too. White people love drugs. They call it recreation. No, it's it, it it's drug. You don't need that pill. You're taking that pill because you want something to happen chemically in your body. Molly, number one in the clubs. Where it comes from? Germany. Biggest producer in Molly. Mm -hmm. Virginia, but you know, they get away with that. I don't know how though they be how they get those drugs through, but they do. Remember, I tell you, there this earth does not belong to just the lawmakers. This earth belongs to all human beings. And not every human being wants to be part of the law. So we call them lawless. We call them criminals. Okay? We call them activists. Whatever. You need to fix it. So um, you don't want to work with us? We don't work with you either. And then they call them outlaws. Virginia State University has patterned with top entertainment and business leaders to bring attention to the importance of criminal justice reform. Alliance founded by recording artist Meek Mills. No more dead rappers. Okay, guys? No more dead rappers. Let the artists live. Let the artists live. And if you want to be in crime, you got to do it right. In plain view. And nobody even sees you. But we see you too often. Well, you shouldn't be seen. You shouldn't be heard. You should be self invisible. If somebody comes with a uh, with a race car, boom, 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 down the road, everybody saw you. We saw the lights. We saw everything. But you're given too much information, and that's why you get pinned up in plain sight. In plain sight. Everybody goes to school. Everybody gets educated. Now, some African American um, criminal institutions, or you know, non-law lovers, uh, or, or law, non-law participants—they call them other things too. Um, they have their lawyers. They have their nurse. They have everything they need in plain sight, and you will not see them. And some mm -hmm, on the corner, visible. Oh, you wanted that? Okay, all right. They see you, the cops see you, they harass you, pull you up. You smoking weed at the mailbox, that's federal property. You, you, what, what's wrong with you? You can't go near the mailbox. That's not your mailbox. It's not yours. It's federal property. Here we go. Um, no more dead rappers. Um, go run and tell that. No more dead, dead rappers. Go run and tell that in plain sight. If you're not going to be someone that's going to abide by the law of the land in plain sight. The law of the land may say we're going to make your 12-year-old or your 13-year-old eligible for free intercourse. Free intercourse. Why? Because um, they're at age to make that decision. Okay? There goes the law, people. Well, here we go. Let's go to the next one. All right, so shout out to um, that company that's doing a really good job. I'm going to, um, yep, go to the next one. Yay! The, um, then Gold Ventures, LLC Gold's media group. Mr. Arbery Flynn. Um, the product of South um, Side Jamaica, Queens, N.Y. Flynn was well aware that technology was his root. What do you like in tech? It doesn't have to be super complicated, but what do you like in tech? I met tech people here, and I'm like, wow, why don't you have a YouTube? Because you have the answer. Everyone you help, let that be a, a live kind of event on bringing about a solution. I thought that was a good idea. 
a product of South so oh man, I thought I turned it off. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. One moment, please. Uh, it is off. It says off. Okay, well, I don't know why it rang. All right, so, um, and I can't turn it off because I might forget where it's located and all that. Excuse me. Mr. Albury Flynn, a product, a product of Southside Jamaica, Queens. Now, when you think of Southside Jamaica, Queen, what do you think of? Power! Yeah, mm-hmm. Canaan's origin story, yeah. Southside Jamaica, Queens, NY Flint, beautiful place, by the way, was well aware that technology was his root. It all began at the University of Florida, okay? He was a self-taught technology student who dedicated his time to working on fashion and learning business um, simultaneously. Fashion, if you come from New York, you can't avoid fashion. You can't avoid the textile. You can't avoid the wood shop, the, the, the metal shop, the paint. Paint? Come on. The foundation, the plumber, the electrician. Every year there's a mass retirement in New York. They got to refill those spots. Okay? Transportation, service. Come on. Bef when you get out of school, of high school in New York, you're not coming out with just academics what you going to do with that no you're coming out with a skill so you can be part of the city so you can drive that that bus so you can drive that train okay so you can fly the plane plane ain't hard to find fly it's the hours that you have to put in just like the, the, the hairdresser they enjoy the school but they, they have to put those hours in okay great so shout out to him bye bye sir venture gold goals venture a tech company give him a call Okay, oh, Onitin um, Abid Adebi Ad 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 Dyson named new CEO. And remember, we talked about there's seventy percent increase in black female CEOs. Okay, it's rising. That the men are way ahead. So all these major companies, mega companies, are giving them over to African Americans. I thought we were stupid. I thought we didn't have no money. I thought we had no bag. Mm-hmm. And now we leave in your bank. And we're saying, we, you know, we, we don't want to be part of your bank anymore. We'll handle our own money. When I worked in corporate, the CEO can steal money. All they do is escort him out. No punishment, no police, no nothing. But if a non-CEO stole anything, they're being escorted out at the door with five cops coming in. Yeah, welcome to America. Okay, one million, one one million jobs for black talent. One tenth um, concept of black talent um, t um, to well playing jobs opportunity through our career marketplace. No four year degree required. Now, if you are an actor, you want to go to this place called One Ten. Okay, so they can find you jobs because. People that are in Hollywood do a lot of things. Create a bathroom, lay a floor, lay a tile. Hey, we want this kind of background. It's the set designers, all kinds of things, okay? All kinds of things. So 110, she's the new CEO. Go over there if you're into acting. If, you don't, if you're not even into acting, you're thinking about it, go, go ahead. All right, they have classes, webinars, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay? You don't know how to talk to your chat? Go over there. Go to 110, okay? And take some of their classes so they can teach you how to engage with your audience. Okay? I probably need to go over there. All right? So here is um, Ashitu Fatumi Tuma. Guess what she did? Mm -hmm. um, Doze founded her CEO of Bossy Cosmetic. Hey, Bossy. You can find her on Amazon and everywhere. Okay, our first goal is to stay close to our customer to find out what she wants. Our first priority is to delight our customers in ways that make that make her feel empowered, energized, and seen. Hello. How Bossy Cosmetic is building a beauty brand to inspire women. 
Like even right now, I have on a glitter, a glitch, a, a glimmer. It's called a, it's a glitter. It's a glitter kind of thing. You, it glitters and glows, right? Um, takes away the fatigues. Makes it looks like the sun is shining on you. That was the concept. Did I do it? Probably not. All right. She makes her post in fifty billion dollar U.S. cosmetic industry. She's joined the fifty billion dollar cosmetic industry. Twenty years in a soaring global career. She's past six figures, guys. Mm -hmm. In investment banking, handling multi million dollar transaction in places such as United States, Sub Sub Sahara Africa, and South America. You got some melanin, she's got the cosmetics for you, okay? She's shutting it all down. And she's right, you can find her on um, on Amazon, yeah. And remember, if you have a black business, I mean, if your your black business will go fine, you just got to keep up your, uh, and wear somebody else's clothes. You can wear somebody else's clothes, get paid, so what? You know what I mean? Um, one journey, let's make it count, and shout out to the, Dozer, okay? Shout out to her and congratulations to her and her family. Okay. Oh, I hit it. It didn't go. Hold on. I got to do it manually. Hold on. All right, Danielle. You know what she does? Over six figures. Um, and, and she's on to 30 years old. She showed up on the Ford's list. The Ford's list. Always make your bed. That's what her book was. Winning book, honey. Crash the New York Times. Huh. She's not even 30. Okay? She's not even 30 years old. And she has her crew. And you know what she says? God first. Family first. Okay? And integrity. You should go to her website. My God, the girl is all, and she all in her God. She all in her God. Oh, it's a Christian, Holy Ghost, sanctified, blah, blah, blah. But she all in her God, okay? And um, she said uh, she did make the Forbes under 30 list of millionaires. She says, I didn't even know I made it. And she just, she, uh, she's, she's just cool. She actually reminded me of Sage. Sage is part of SB underscore underscore 1987. Shout out to Daniela. Okay, Danielle Hughes. Okay, now this is SB underscore underscore 1987. Very active community leader and a Twitch partner. We help you grow and make genuine connections. Giving you the best of music, comedy, vibes. Come catch these vibes. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the partner that helped sponsor me to affiliate. And his name is SB underscore underscore 1987. Okay? Now, he teaches you ways to succeed in um, the Twitch community, in gaming, um, in two-year mentoring uh, many more gamers he's helped over and over again. But his idea is to, I'm going to show you how to succeed. Okay, um, and he is a comedian. So if you come into his chat, he did warn you that he likes music and he likes comedy. Now, I came from New York, and when you go to the comedy show, you are not sitting in the front row. One moment, please. You are not going to sit in the front row. Mm. Woo. Lemon. Woo. Here it goes. So here is SB underscore. Now, sometimes when you go in, um, they ha he has a um, a partner. You know how comedians they, they like to work in twos, right? And her name is Sage, and they work together. And I don't know if you I, they have this banter, this banter, back and forth banter that can happen at the cookout. F familiar banter. That can happen among family, among brothers and sisters, and they banter back and forth, right? Fun. Now, if you don't like comedians, don't show up because you know comedian, they're going to find you. They don't care if there's 2,000 people in there. He's going to find you because that's what comedians do, okay? So, and if you don't, can't handle the cussing, you know, mm, turn, put it on mute or put the, um, 
put the little words on, you know, it's the captions on, so you can go from there. Okay, um, sometimes they have housekeeping, and housekeeping is what we're, what we're going to do and what we're not going to do as a community. Yeah, mm-hmm. what I tell you? You know, structure. Structure is very important. So shout out to SB underscore underscore 1987. Um, go and visit him Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. He's on Twitch Twitch, and also kick.com. Okay. Next person I want to introduce to you is um, um, the gaming tech support that helps my channel. And it's Hyperactive Mail. And... Um, he is. Uh, he plays Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, Farm Simulator 22, House Flipper, and Fishing, and much more. He is a great tech support, okay? And when I get in trouble, hi, babe, I'm in trouble, okay? He'll say, this is my favorite guy. He did this. He's been gaming for years just for the fun of it, okay? He likes the money too, but for the fun of it. And he gets lots of support all over the place. He knows how to get support. He knows how to get support. Let's just say that. Okay. And he's a game tech support um, player. And um, he enjoys everything. Married with family and children. And um, yeah. Yeah. So these are the two people I wanted to share with you today. And um, we are done. Yeah. We are done. Now, I want to explain to you, this is my cog wheel, because time is always turning. And those chains are sometimes what binds us. And it's easy to get bind by chains of different things, whether it's drugs, whether it is disappointment in people, whether it is um, love, hate, okay, bitterness, bitter dislike. Um, darkness. So when chains come, recognize them, shake them off. Okay? Shake them off. Because you don't have time to be no one's prisoner. Mm -mm. We don't have time to be no one's prisoner. Don't let anyone, never surrender your freedom. Why? Don't back up. Don't surrender your freedom. No. Not, not good. Okay? And don't surrender your dreams. Thank you for joining us today as we do our Just Chat In. Guess what? We almost made an hour. SB wanted us to do for two hours. But there's no one here but me. So I'm going to post it up on YouTube. Do a little clip. Post it also up on um, all over the place. Well, first I'm going to get my feedback. So everyone, I'm going to leave it up for a little while. You don't forget, go to my YouTube, not the gaming YouTube. Give me your feedback. If it wasn't for your feedback, I wouldn't have... Oops, I did something wrong. Hold on. I don't even know what that is. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oops, oops. Let me go back. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I I um changed some... It's supposed to, I think I did something wrong. Let's see. Yeah, it, the slide ends there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here we go. The slide ends there. That, that, that list was those who have been supporting me. You know, I look to see who come to the stream and who's been supporting me. And, of course, I, I give back to them and I follow them back and I also watch them. Shout out to Johnny the Taco. I didn't forget you, maestro. Don't worry. I have not forget, ma forgotten my maestro. Don't worry, also pure. Michael, I haven't forgotten you. Mm -mm -mm. Night Rider, no, no, no. I have not forgotten you. Okay? Um, um, th there's a race car driver. His name is um, not Black Wolf Trey, but he's good too. He's not forgotten. Um, it, um, Mod King and Queen, not forgotten. Also, Old Man Gaming, 1977. And... Um, so many others. Oh, yeah. GKG Savage. Um, and there's uh, Queen Slayer Val. The beautiful Queen Slayer Val. Okay. Welcome to One Journey Make It Count. Hey, Aravera. Welcome in. We were just finishing up our Just Chatting. And we had, uh, I'm sorry, those are, that's just my list of, um, 
Okay, these are just my list of the, the, the partner that I follow, hyperactive male that helps me out all the time. And um, yeah, anti-force that helps me as well. And some of the people that we were talking about today. Danielle Ugly put vending machines everywhere. Vending machines are very popular overseas. Nobody has time to go into the store. They just click on the vending machine, buy a t-shirt. Click on the vending machine, buy a bra. Click on the vending machine, buy some socks. But in America, a lot of the vending machines are in the jail, but the prisons, the private prisons are about to close. And then they're going to turn them into mental institution, and everybody who's crying um, to, the, to the wrong therapist, she's going to sign you up and put you in one of those little rooms. You better know who your therapist is. Else she's going to sign you up, put you in those little rooms, okay? And she gets paid, this one gets paid, that one gets paid, okay? Because she's already written you down as a psychopath. Mm -hmm. So keep acting up at the family reunion, and they got to constantly call the cops to come escort you out. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you so much. My name is One Journey. We say let's make it count. Why? Because... We th choose life. Life has consequences. Your choices, your actions, they all have consequences. Those consequences can be tragic. Next thing we like to do is we like detective games. We like choice matter games. We definitely like all the Marvel games. That's right. I like Superman. I like Batman. And, you know, sometimes people think you, they can tease you. You ain't teasing me. Because I got this one journey, and I'm going to enjoy it. I remember telling, um, uh, I can't, who was it? I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, um, I shot you. Awesome. I shot you 39. Awesome. And he is an awesome gamer. And I said, I shot you. I play everything on easy. It's going to be smooth and fun, and that's it. I ain't here for no long, difficult headache. No. I want to have a good time. That's why I'm here, to relax and enjoy my gaming, write it down, and write it off as my mental health escape. Ah, yeah, what happened today? I played Superman and I beat up the Joker. Yes, I did. What happened today? I played Forza and I didn't win, but boy, I learned how to do what? Smash those boards. I got other things to do when I'm doing Forza. Forza is a job. That game will keep you right there all day. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'll just, just chat in. I'm going to end this, end this segment, do some clips and also put it on the gaming channel. Remember, if you ever want to give me any tips, I know I need music, send it to me, let me know. And, um, yeah, we'll get it done. Yeah. And I'm going to, I haven't, my camera is set up, but I haven't switched it yet because I want to do some cooking. I want to do, I want to talk about some snacks and um, I'm still working on that. So soon you'll see different things going on. Okay. I've got my snack table. I just don't have my, um, it's called, uh, what is this? It's, it's a tool that keeps food warm, but it looks like a flat tray and um, it looks like a warming tray and you just put everything on it and it keeps it warm. I don't like cold food cold food. But I got to go because I'm going to go make some Escobich chicken fish and I'm going to enjoy it. Escobich fish, fish is fried fish bone in and you sprinkle it with sauteed onions, garlic, scotch bonnet and um, vinegar and a little oil and you pour it over the, um, the fried fish. If you're into vinegar, you're going to love it. If you're not, you're not going to like it. It's just going to be like wet fish to you. All right. So I'm gone. And thank you very much. Thank you for those who came by. I'm going to leave my just chatting up. If you want or have opinions, I have always said, if you have an opinion, my email, follow my YouTube and my email. Go over there because I, um, I need to get monetized, okay? All right, so if you don't mind, help me with my YouTube because soon I'm going to be transferring things over. And um, we're not here for a long time, but we're definitely here for a good time. One journey, let's make it count. Um, remember, um, we only have one journey. Thank you for joining us and bye-bye.